Today we are going to be creating a shrink wrapping effect inside of Maya by using simple end cloth and some pressure and that's it. So let's get into it. So I'm going to take a simple text here as a object. You can choose any primitive that you want. So let's choose A and uh, let's change our overall font here. And I'm going to take something like maybe a Gotham or something like that. And um, I think this should be good enough. Okay, so the next is I'm going to make this regular and decrease the font size to maybe like a 5 here and this should be good enough and the overall depth on this is a bit too much so I'm going to go to my overall geometry here and change the extrusion distance to something like a 0.5 maybe and the division is set to 4 I'm going to make that 1 if you want you can add some bevel uh, to give a little bit of extra to the overall text that you have I'm going to reduce the overall division and then maybe play around with the overall offset here to see how this is looking and i think this is a pretty good enough look for the overall text so i think it's good to go so let's turn off our grid and let's take something else like our simple sphere so i'm going to go to my front view hit 4 on your keyboard to go into the wireframe mode and uh, just make this big enough to fit the overall text here and i think this is good to go so as you can see we have a nice cloth over our text and we have a passive collider so let's create our end cloth so i'm going to go to my fx end cloth and create end cloth and i'm going to select my text here and i'm going to turn on my x-ray and let's create that as a passive collider so i'm going to call this a i'm going to call this cloth and just so it's easier for us to understand okay so if i play this now you'll see that the cloth falls as usual and uh, one thing I'm going to do is go to my nucleus here and get rid of the overall gravity. We don't want any gravity. So if I play this now, nothing happens. So the shrink wrapping effect is basically how the inside air is kind of being sucked in and the cloth is trying to shrink in. So we are going to be doing that by using simple pressure. We have been using pressure on a couple of other videos as well to create different kinds of abstract art. But in this one, instead of going into the positive direction, we are going to get into the negative direction. So I'm going to go to minus one and let's see how that plays out all right so as instantly you see something like this going on okay so i'm going to decrease a value to something like a 0.5 and you see something like this all right so the you can see the overall shrink wrapping here which is a pretty nice effect that's happening i'm going to move my sphere right about there and uh, maybe like scale this a bit something like this okay so I have something like this. Uh, so one thing I want to do is basically go to my dynamic properties and get rid of the overall stretch resistance to maybe like 10. So the, I'm, I'm kind of decreasing the overall resistance on the stretchiness because I want more stretchiness going on. So now as you can see we have something like this. So let's increase a bit more subdivision on our polysphere here to maybe like a 30 and 30. And let's go back to our class shape. And we have compression resistance. I'm going to make that 5. So it can compress even more. So now you can see much more shrink wrapping kind of thing going on. And one thing I'm gonna do is change the mass to something like a 0.2. So we have a pretty light cloth here. And you can see deformation going on. And the one thing I'm gonna do that really gives this shrink wrapping a more subtle effect is definitely the drag. So I'm gonna increase drag. So that will just get the overall animation a little bit slower. So now you can see something like this happening. So I'm going to increase the drag a bit more. All right. So now you can see the cloth is trying to shrink in, trying to get as much as close to the overall text here. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to my collision and increase the friction to something like 0.8 and stickiness to 0.2. And let's see here. All right. So now you can see much more better result. It's kind of nicely shrinking in with the overall text here and you can see all the wrinkles and everything here. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, if you want to uh, play around with the overall different kinds of thing you want, if you want more stretchiness. So I think I'm going to increase the overall self collision to 1.2 maybe. And uh, if you want a bit more, you can say stretchy look, you can pretty much decrease more compression resistance and stretch resistance on this. And if your animation a bit too fast, you can in keep increasing the drag until you get the desired look you want. So if you want more pressure, you can increase the pressure amount. So I think 0.500 is good enough for me. 
and you can see how this is kind of trying to shrink in but I think we can go to something like point 0.1 and that is shrinking even nicely so uh, let's see how this is uh, overall looking on the render view so you can see a couple of blackness going on over here so that means we have some collision issues with the self collision so I'm going to increase self collision even higher to maybe like a 0.5 so you can see the overall self collision here and since our uh, cloth is a bit you can say losing its original integrity so it's kind of deforming so that's why we have this issue so there's two ways to fix this the first is obviously increasing more self collision thickness I'm going to make this one I'm not going to be using this the second thing is simply going to the nucleus and increasing more substrate so this this is kind of the quality of your overall cloth so this will just give a uh, fix everything so I'm going to play this again and let's pause this and now you can see we don't see any collision going on so now the overall look is pretty good let's uh, see how this is looking overall so let's create a camera let's shade this quickly to see how our overall text is looking and let's zoom this out make this two like one okay so I'm going to turn on my film gate just to check we are looking all right so let's log this and let's turn on our IPR okay nice so I'm going to create a simple BG simple background for the overall uh, scene here let's move this up scale this up and uh, let's get it into the perspective view let's move this back and we don't need that much subdivision on our background so let's get into the camera and from the outline I'm going to select this let's add a new material quickly and let's make that BG I'm going to stop my render it's already stopped and uh, add a bit more roughness to this and change the overall color here to something like maybe like a line kind of thing something like this and let's select this and for this one since this is a kind of a shrink wrapping thing so we want this to be a bit more like a plastic so you have a couple of things like you can choose thin plastic if you want you can choose frosted glass let's go with the glass I know we should choose the overall thin plastic but I think the overall glass material looks much more better on this so I'm going to go with that and for our text here let's create another material for this and I'm going to make this like a matte black kind of thing okay so let's hit play on this and uh, make this a bit more on the brighter side so we have something like this so you can see the overall shrink wrapping effect you can see all the wrinkles and everything this looks pretty nice and if you have more subdivision on your primitive the look is pretty amazing you can add a bit more subdivision like 100 and 100 and you can catch that and then you can play it very smoothly so this is a pretty nice effect i think i'm going to change the overall preset for our text here just so it looks a bit more natural to the scene and uh, i think this is good enough so play around with this effect uh, you can choose different kinds of primitive you can take a cube and add a sphere as a shrink wrapping effect and you can have fun with that so create something out of it if you do create something out of it share with me on my instagram i love to see your work and i'll see you in the next one stay home stay safe